gonna do? What am I gonna do? I just didn't think you were still going. Where is that again, babe? That's Stephenstown at the sports circle. You know, the one. Oh, yeah, that one. All right. Look, Harry, I'll try and be there as soon as the interview's over, all right? Who knows how long it's going to be. I've had my tablets and I'm feeling all right, so we'll have to see how things go. You can do it, Harry. I know you can. I'm sure you will, Harry. Now I want you to both go brush your teeth, put your lunch boxes in your bag, and then you can go play outside until it's time for school, all right? feeling, darling? Oh, I don't know. A little, little bit nervous. You shouldn't be concerned. It's either meant to be or not. I believe God will find the right place for you. I don't know. We've needed this break for so long. Why does he take so long? Oh, God works in mysterious ways. Maybe he's waiting for the right time for when Harry's well enough for you to go back to work. Yeah, maybe. I don't even know if this job's the right one. But hey, if the pay's good, right? Okay, well, looks like you're good to go. Yeah? Alright, well, good luck and call me afterwards, alright? All right? Love you, babe. Love you too. Okay, see, see ya. Bye. Dear Father in Heaven, you know this interview means a lot. But God, I pray that you help Jack to never lose focus on you. Please forgive him for all the poor choices he's made in the past. Give him the strength and the courage to choose you and his family before money. You're always good and you always supply our needs. Please help us to be faithful too. Whatever the future holds may be what you want for us. Thank you for listening to my prayer. In your precious name. Hey Dad. Hey son, how are you doing? I know you got your big interview this morning and I just wanted to wish you luck. Oh, thanks Dad. I mean it's pretty important this one. You know how much of a struggle it's been with all the hospital bills for Harry. You've got to make sure that if the money is good, you just go for it. Don't hold back. Nothing should stop you with this one. Yeah, I know. We've been struggling and it's not easy on Emma. But if the job isn't right... But isn't it better that you just put up with it and get the money to pay the bills? Think about it, son. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, then. Good luck. Hey, man. How are you doing? I'm on my way down there now. You ready? Man, I've pulled so many strings for you to get this one. You better not disappoint me, but I know you need this. I know, man. I'm grateful, as, and you're right, I, I really do. Such a big opportunity to help you get back on track. You better have your game face on, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll be there in five. Okay, see ya. Jack Neville. Jack Neville is here. Sure. Hello, me. Jack, nice to meet you. Morning. I'm Jess. This is Richard, our company's CEO, and you already know Dave. Morning. 
Dave has told us lots of good things about you and highly recommended you to our firm. You have a glowing resume. You must know that jobs like this don't come around frequently. We do realise that you have been out of action for a while, but you were working in a similar role in your last job, correct? Yes. Not quite as much responsibility as my previous, but I'm keen to learn and I'm motivated to adapt. That's great. We would like to hire somebody who can work 9 to 5, 5 days a week. We also need them to work weekend trips away. All other work perks are identified here. All trips will be covered by the firm. We'll give you a moment to have a look at the outlines. Do you have any questions? No, it, it, it all seems okay. Uh, this is the base salary, yes? Yes, and if you do well, that will improve. The weekend trips, are, are they necessary? Is there a problem with weekend work away? Well, I like to spend Saturdays differently, away from work. Well, it shouldn't be an issue because these trips are rather infrequent. But some Saturdays are still required. Yeah, I, I understand. It's just that Saturdays for me are kind of a no-go. Pretty much, I can't, I can't really do Saturdays. Well. I don't think we understand each other. I don't know. I'm, I'm unsure. Look, look, can I, can I just have a few moments to, to breathe outside? Just, can, just have a bit of a think? If you have to, of course. Jack! Jack! Hold up a sec. Jack! What, man? You mind explaining to me what the heck you're doing in there? Look at what they're offering. You've seen what they're offering. It easily covers Harry's medical expenses. What's with the Sabbath thing suddenly? What's wrong with, with a few weekends here or there? I know, man. The pay's, the pay's perfect. But look, you knew I wasn't interested in working on Saturdays even before the interview. Emma wouldn't be very happy if she found out I was working Saturdays again. You know how she is. And look, the Bible is clear about these kind of things. It says that Sabbath is a day to spend time with God and with my family. Look, Harry might be sick, but that doesn't mean I want to put my faith on the back burner. Alright? God has gotten us through this far. Alright, alright, alright. Why is your God letting Harry be sick then? Hmm? Can't you do this Sabbath thing on another day? Low blow, man. Look, Harry might be sick. I don't know why. I just don't know. Look, give me a few minutes and I'll be back. No, no, no. no. Seriously, come on. Come on. No, just come let on. me be. Come on, come on. What am I going to do? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Sorry about that. Look, I know what the stakes are and I know that you've taken a massive risk to offer me this position. It's an awesome job, it's an awesome opportunity and the pay is great. And you probably think I'm crazy enough for just taking this and run, but it's an amazing job. It's an amazing opportunity, the pay is great. My faith is important to me. And if I've realized anything today, it's that. Saturday is a day that I spend with God and spend with my family. And if that means that I lose this opportunity, then so be it. I would rather miss out on an opportunity like this, but be with God and be of clear conscience than to succeed without Him. I'm sorry for wasting your time this morning and I'm really grateful for the opportunity that you've given me. You are throwing away such a good opportunity for your faith. I just hope it's worth it. Mr. Neville, thank you for coming in today. Thank you. Good day. Dave, what was that? You told us this guy would take the job hands down. You know he is perfect for the position and has the highest credentials. Did you know that he wasn't going to work on weekends? Look, Shane, uh, I, I've seen him go to church here and there, but I didn't know he was so dedicated. I mean, something must have happened. It's not the Jack I know. Well, now what are we going to do? 
We don't have anyone on the applicant list so highly educated and experienced. It's like we're going backwards on this whole thing. Well, I like this guy. Find him another position and make him an offer. But how? What position? We can't guarantee free Saturdays. Who said we can't? You said it yourself that this guy is perfect for this position and no one has come close to him. Saturdays? Really? I admire a guy who stands by his morals and beliefs. That's good enough for me. Call him and make it happen. as we would have hoped. I refused to work Saturdays and let's just say it was a requirement, so I declined the position. I'm sorry, Emma. I know you were counting on me. I'm sorry I let you down. Sweetheart, don't even say that. I'm so proud of you. You stood up for your faith and I love that even more. God will help us get to where we need to go. I love you. I love you too, babe. I'm on my way to the soccer match now. I'll be about 20 minutes. Oh, okay, sounds great. I'll see you when you get here. Bye. Hi, Jack. It's Jess from Access Mining Group here. We were wondering if we can drop by tomorrow morning. 